So welcome everyone to the workshop. I'm going to tell you a bit about this house. It's an architectural <laughs> installation made by an architect artist called Motti Rumi from Tel Aviv in Israel and a planner called Paul Kearns in Dublin City Council. Tens of thousands of these, this type of house were built in the 1940s. Paul Kearns, the planner who's involved in this, saw them as a visionary and ambitious project for Dublin because it offered a new way of living just outside the city centre. So everyone had a garden and more space. They wanted to ask questions about what is a house, what is a house and home, why do we build houses where they do, where we build them, why are they located here, and I suppose it gets questions going. It's about life stories, personal stories, history, memories, hopes for the future, and all under the central theme of urban living. Transition year students from lots of schools we're in over the last three weeks. When we go back to the education space, I can show you people have made model, 3D models to express their ideas, and I'll explain that to you more when we go over there. So we go back in before we get too cold. So living, living. So the groups I've been working with, usually I'll maybe introduce uh, the, the kind of thematic areas of the project uh, with them through a slideshow about, um, I have one called The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, which firstly looks at good examples of housing in, in the city, and then also looks with a more critical eye at, at bad examples and where uh, density hasn't been considered or threshold hasn't been considered. And we start a kind of a conversation around that. Um, from that we've had, we run a kind of a world cafe where students break up into groups and they answer questions about what makes a good city, what makes a good neighbourhood, and what makes good housing. I think it's important to remember that even though you can do what you want in your house that you should always have one at least one room in your house where you can just sit and relax or you know just read a book or watch something on your phone or something just somewhere you can be alone and just relax away from everything. Think of your ideal home. What would what would you say? Really what we want is your ideas. How would you finish your home? What would you put where? What would you put in the different rooms? Thank you. 
studying uh, here. There's five students so they need a space. Um, and then downstairs there's a cafe. Thank you.